top story tonight at 5.30. It has been years in the making. The Tahone tribe has the green light to bring a resort and casino to Kern. 17's Christian Galeno has more on the multi-million dollar project that hopes to catapult the tribe's economic prosperity. Christian. Yeah, of course, well, the Tahone tribe has been waiting for this to happen for years, even decades, and it might not right the wrongs committed against the Tahone tribe, but it's headed in the direction to improve the lives of its more than 1,200 members. The Tahone tribe is the only federally recognized tribe in Kern County. Health and housing support are two of the greatest needs that we are seeing our tribal members with. A third of the members are under the age of 18 and over half are living under the federal poverty line. Since we heard that the governor was ready to concur on the gaming compact, mm -hmm. I didn't realize I've been holding my breath for 10 years. Economic prosperity for the tribe will come in the form of the long-awaited 52-acre Hard Rock Casino and Resort, greenlit by Governor Newsom on Monday. I can go to Cabo San Lucas, I can go to Lake Tahoe, uh, all of these destinations that are typically associated with, uh, you know, uh, vacationing, but Kern County. Uh, is now going to be on that list. The $600 million project set to be built along Highway 99 near Mettler will bring about 2,000 jobs during its construction. After its grand opening, about 3,000 jobs will be available for tribe members and Kern County residents. We have a great local development agreement with Hard Rock International and the, and the Tahone tribe uh, that is uh, about a $220 million value to Kern County over the next 20 years. A county sheriff and fire department substation will also bring the necessary public safety to the area. It's a tremendous opportunity for them, uh, for not only their people, but um, they have created a project that's going to be meaningful for us all. Outside of, of course, the actual venue is the opportunity for Bakersfield specifically to be opened and recognized within California. It's also an opportunity to recognize the original stewards of the land amid an ability to correct historical wrongs. Maybe not so much a correction. We've lost too many people waiting for this. We've lost too many tribal members over the last 10 years waiting for this. I, I can't see it as a correction any more than I can see it as finally something that we've been patient coming through, something that the community sees as right and the gov governor sees as right. Well, the compact is now headed to state legislature for ratification. And once approved, Hard Rock says the entire process from groundbreaking to grand opening will take about 18 months. Reporting in studio, Christian Galeno, 17 News.